Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to the postgraduate open day for graduate diploma illustration here at Camberwell College of Arts. I'm just going to run through how today will work. So your microphones are muted during our presentations and your webcams are not visible so we cannot see you and we cannot hear you. There will be an opportunity for you to ask questions at the end of this event. You can ask your questions in the question box and we'll get round to answering them at the end. Just going to introduce myself to begin. My name is Griselda, I'm a member of the student recruitment team here at Campbell College of Arts and I'm joined by graduate diploma illustration course leader Angela. Angela, if you'd just like to say hello. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Brilliant, thank you. And I'll hand back over to Angela in a little while. First of all, I'm just going to talk a little bit about UAL and Campbell College of Arts. I'm also going to cover the postgraduate community. I'm going to do a brief overview on the entry requirements and how to apply to the course. I'm also going to cover postgraduate fees and funding and then Angela will tell you about the course and then we will do our Q&A. So UAL is made up of six colleges, one university. UAL um, is the largest specialist arts university in Europe. Again this year it was voted number two in the top universities list for art and design. We have a large range of creative students here from foundation to PhD level. Uh, all UAH, UAL students have access to the libraries here at UAL. So like I said, there's six colleges. So a UAL student has access to all of six libraries. It's obviously based in London, so a very good location. We have specialist staff who are all practicing professionals in their field. We benefit from a large university, but we do have the personal feel of those colleges that I mentioned earlier. We have great links with industry and excellent progression into careers within chosen speciality. Campbell Col Campbell College of Arts is a unique place to study. The ethos is that we embrace both traditional craftsmanship and digital technology. We have a really strong studio culture here. We're definitely inspired by our community and we're dedicated to driving forward positive social change through art and design. Campbell recently well, a couple of years ago now, but it did have a big investment in a new build. That's where um, this course is based in the campus. Um, Campbell recently celebrated 125 years as an art and design college. We also have a hall of residence, which is based on site, Gardens House. You can see it here in this photo. If you're interested in accommodation, it might be a little early to think about that, but we do have virtual tours available of all our UAL accommodation options on our website. Introducing the postgrad community. The postgrad community provides access to cross college and cross disciplinary opportunities, events, and networking for postgraduate tour and research students here at UAL. This initiative aims to build a diverse program of cross disciplinary events, reading groups, visits, and opportunities designed exclusively for our postgraduate student body. The postgrad community also offers a wide range of events. These can differ from crater-led tours of major exhibitions, visit to, visits to artist studios and industry spaces, research activity, um, student-led skill and knowledge exchanges, and importantly, opportunities to network. We have a wide range of student, student services available here. We have disability and dyslexia advisors, counsellors, health advisors who help with mental health and wellbeing. We also have a chaplaincy service. The Arts SU, so the Arts Student Union, also had a, has a wide range of different societies and sports clubs that you can join. We also have UAL Art Temps, so if you're looking to do any sort of flexible work during your study, UAL Art Temps is a great place to sign up to and you can work at a wide range of events and different roles across UAL, across all of the colleges. Entry requirements. So you'll be able to see in detail what I'm going to cover now on the course page, but I'll just do a brief overview. So you need a BA degree or equivalent academic qualification. You need evidence of your ability in your chosen subject area. We do have accept alternative qualifications or experience. They, these will be taken into consideration. You'll need to apply with a personal statement and a portfolio of work. English language. If English is not your first language, you will need to provide evidence enrolment of an English language qualification. Graduate diploma courses require an IELTS level of six with a 5.5 in reading, writing, listening and speaking or the equivalent qualification. Please check our English language requirements on the website for the updated list of qualifications we are now accepting. So here are the fees. 
It's important to note that the fees do change, but this is the set fees for 2024-2025 entry. It's also important to note that there is an instalment plan option, so it is possible to pay your tuition fees in instalments. Again, you can find out more about this on our website. Progression opportunities. Some students do want to progress from graduate diploma illustration to MA illustration. This is not automated, so you do need to apply like normal, but it is recommended that it could help by doing a graduate diploma in illustration. Postgraduate funding. So we have a number of different funding options. Again, you can take a close look on our website. We have a UAL progression discount. So if you're coming from an undergraduate course at UAL, you could be entitled to a 20% discount. UAL home postgraduate scholarships um, is for home students. So there's 185 scholarships available. And these are of a £7,000 fee waiver. There's two different application deadlines and these tie in with the application deadlines for the course. Postgraduate funding, and this is for international, so UAL International Postgraduate Scholarships. Again, there are up to 215 £7,000 fee waiver scholarships. Again, you need to be check if you're eligible. Um, there's also another international postgraduate scholarship combined with an accommodation award. So there's up to four £50,000 scholarships to cover tuition fees and accommodation at one of our UAL halls of residence. This could also contribute towards living costs. And again, you need to check if you are eligible for this. You can do so on our website. I would recommend looking at um, gov.com to um, look at the fees and funding calculator. And there you can see if you're eligible for a loan. You can use a calculator to estimate how much your studies may cost you in your first year or during your time of study and what funding may be available to you. How to apply. So I'm sure Angela will cover this in a bit more detail and you'll also be able to find more information on our website where it's clearly listed. But you need to apply online for this course. You need to make a direct application online via the course page of the website. You will then receive login details for, for your UAL portal. So your UAL portal is where everything happens. You'll need to have a personal statement. Personal statement needs to include your reasons for choosing the course, your current creative practice and how this course will help with your future plans. If you do not have any formal quali academic qualifications, please describe your relevant education and your relevant experience. We will then do an initial application check and we'll review your application. You'll then also need to upload a mini portfolio Again, Angela might run over how to do this and you'll also see more information on our web page. But approximately 10 to 30 images um, and following the review, we select applicants to move on to the next stage of this process, which is an interview. This interview will be held online. And again, you'll be communicated the entire time through your UAL portal. Deadlines, there's two rounds of deadlines. So the first one, round one, is Wednesday the 13th of December 2023, and round two is Wednesday the 3rd of April 2024. Okay, that's enough from me, so I'm now going to hand over to Angela. Angela, you have a slide control, so you should be good to go. Thank I you. I can't actually... Oh, there they are. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about the confusion. I see them now. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Angela Hogg. I'm the course leader, course leader for graduate diploma illustration. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the course and I've got some student work examples to show you. So it's a one year course. It's a level six. Um, which is kind of the academic level system. And that means it's equivalent to the final year of a BA. Um, it's got a really simple structure. There's two units uh, comprising half of the course each, unit one, research risk and context, and unit two, practice development and realization. So student profile. So the sort of applicants that we have on the course, um, they'll often have a previous creative de degree, perhaps in a different subject, like fashion design or graphic design. We also have applicants uh, with a non-creative degree. We've got a law student at the moment, and we've had uh, philosophy um, majors and uh, fashion marketing. 
Um, so it's a very good course for students thinking about transitioning in terms of their career. Uh, we get applicants from workplace or other, so those students who have been in the workplace and would like to take a year out uh, and maybe study a subject that perhaps they've always wanted to study but not uh, found the time, or perhaps they studied um, an academic undergraduate degree. And also applications wishing to, to um, progress to MA level. Uh, it's not automatic, so you'd have to make um, um, a, a kind of a separate um, application to the MA here at Illustration if you want to apply for that. And we'll kind of help you and guide you about other MA courses as well. So while you're on the course, uh, you'll be able to research um, if you want to do an MA in the in the UK, of course, you'll be able to research all the courses that are available, when and how to apply to those courses, and we can support you with that. So the course uh, content is both structured and self-initiated studio projects. As we go from the beginning to the end, end of the course, it becomes more uh, self-directed. So at the beginning, it's for the first unit, it's quite structured. Um, to support the studio projects, you'll have skills, technical and process workshops. There's a lecture program, um, and obviously uh, academic support, language support, uh, and other services as well. So I'm just going to show you some images from unit one. Uh, the current year of the unit one comprises of three projects and we're just starting project for three uh, for this year's cohort. So unit one is characterized by um, intensive engagement with process and research. So we have um, lots of workshops that encourage risk taking and introduce methods of generating ideas and thinking about visual content. So uh, the first few weeks are very intensive. Uh, students make a lot of work. Some more images from the sketchbooks, uh, from the sketchbook project, uh, which is the first project of unit one. And there's uh, a little photograph there of um, our studio and students working on a, on a workshop. And this is another workshop we do, which is about, it, it kind of looks quite playful and it is, it's about, although it's paper cutting, it's about understanding um, quality of form and how to read form in terms of communication. Uh, we also uh, do a, a, um, a 3D workshop where we're playing with the ideas around um, looking at illustration in three dimensions. We do a publication. Students have just finished that this year. Um, and this is some images. These aren't the finished publications. These are from a, a formats workshop uh, where we make lots of mock-ups and um, play with ideas around interactivity and colour. And at the end of unit one, we have an exhibition. There's the studio exhibition showcasing all the students printmaking and work that they've produced over the course of unit one. Actually, I'll correct that. This is project one. It's not unit one. This is an exhibition at the end of project one where we showcase the work that students have done for that. So unit two is characterized by increasing independence and focus. So this consists of two projects, uh, the first of which is um, a research-based um, project, uh, which can lead into the main project, and that's working towards a final outcome. So I've got some student examples here. This is uh, Nishiri and her project about hyper, hypernagio. Uh, sorry, I can't pronounce that. Hypnagogia, which is actually what it is, is having um, very intense, almost realistic nightmares. So it's a very frightening condition um, that she produced a publication around. And here's some more of her images. So she had a very, very uh, detail and process intensive. So these are all hand-drawn images. This is Dinah Lim, who did um, a project 
based around uh, Diana Lim was um, uh, parents from Vietnam, but she'd grown up in France. So she made a publication project around the issues and the difficulties of being French Vietnamese. Um, and she obviously um, created the visual content and the design, but also the written content as well. And she made a lot, of, she gathered a lot of research around um, vernacular photographs, so photographs of, of, um, of Vietnamese nationals living in France, their family photographs, and transferred these into this kind of drawings, which is very effective. And it's quite a poignant piece, really, really lovely. Uh, we also do um, an animation project as part of actually, that's part of unit one. Sometimes we do an animation project. This year, we're actually doing an augmented reality project, which we've just began. Um, but this can lead on to students becoming really interested in film and anima animation and other technologies. And this is Zihan Yi, who made uh, an incredible animation, um, stop motion, but also um, using um, digital technologies as well, uh, including Blender. So it's a very well designed project with a lot of um, a lot of hand labor, but it's really beautiful. Uh, anyway, there's a link there on YouTube if you want to watch that. We're not going to play it now. But if you want to access the presentation later and watch that, it's still there. Uh, we also do an external project every year. Uh, it's actually uh, for a mural design, uh, which is in the lobby of Camberwell. It's supported by Windsor and Newton, who give us the materials, etc. And um, we have this freestanding wall in the lobby. So two students um, compete, or, or any, any amount of students can compete to be chosen and to put in a proposal. And then uh, a team of staff and Steffi and Nebia from uh, Windsor and Newton will choose the two winners. And then they get to install um, the mural, which is um, a very interesting learning curve. This is Yuan Yuan Lu, who um, installed this actually last year. Um, and she went on to win the World Illustration Awards for um, a student submission for site-specific work. So that was quite a big deal. But she worked very hard on this. It's, um, it's more complex than it seems because we had to figure out how to manage this technically so that it retained the freshness of all her sketches. So it's done in about three layers. And we had to use a special medium for the red so that the red was transparent on top of uh, the gray and the blue. So that was a really interesting learning curve. And we're very pleased that she won that um, major award for that work that she'd done. And this was the other side, Yishi Yang. And this was a concept based on Buddhist principles. Um, so it's kind of an abstracted design. Uh, um, using the iconography of Buddhism, but sort of extracting, extracting it and um, abstracting it so it's not so um, obvious. Uh, this is another final project um, that a student did about love, uh, this is Sasha, and um, this was using um, kind of mono printing. So you do quite a lot of printmaking on the course. We introduce you to three or four different processes and then you can negotiate access later on. Uh, so this student actually asked herself the question, what, what is love? Because she'd never been in love before. So it was a kind of, it was her imagining what it was like to be in love. But what made this project very interesting is that she did a, a lot of research um, at the National Gallery and looked at a lot of classical paintings and transposed a lot of compositions um, into her particular style and into the ideas around her, her kind of booklet. So that image on the right is, I believe, a, from a 17th century painting, but because she's placed her own kind, uh, her own language and ideas on the composition, it actually sort of makes for a really um, interesting visual. And it was a really lovely project, that one.
Oh, thank you. That's me ended then. Okay, so that's my email address there at the bottom. If you have any questions for me, uh, you can email me anytime and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Angela. That was great. I can see that a few of you have joined, didn't miss, you maybe missed just the beginning, um, which meant you probably missed my introduction. Um, absolutely not a problem, but you will have missed that I said that it will be recorded. So you will receive a recording of this event at the end, so you can catch up on anything that you have missed. We will also be doing a QA and a in just a moment, so please do ask any questions. You should see a little question box at the bottom of your screen. If you type in your questions there, then Angela and myself can answer those in just a moment, so please do. Um, it's also worth mentioning that we have social media. So please do follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Our handle is Campbell UAL, so at Campbell UAL. If you have any questions, which you can't think of now or you think of in the future, it might be worth taking a note of this email address because this email address goes to my team, the student recruitment team. We can answer any questions that you may have. So please contact us on Campbell underscore inquiries at arts.ac.uk. Finally, before we start the Q&A, it's also worth mentioning that we will have on-site open days. So if you are able to visit the college, we will be having an on-site open day early next year. Those dates will be released on our website, so please keep um, an eye out on our open day page, and then you can come visit the college in person. Um, we also have college tours, so if you can't for some reason make that specific date, we have regular college tours where you can come and see the facilities that we have here at Campbellwell. So again, please keep an eye on our webpage and those dates will be released or published.